Hey everyone, I'm Marcos and I'm Moxie Boosted, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield moveset guide video for VGC. Now, I apologize, the past couple of videos I had to mass record, so there were some issues with audio. Some people said it wasn't loud enough. Hopefully, it'll be loud enough this time, but I'm back from vacation, and tomorrow I'll be recording my first session back on the online ladder. Not Pokemon Showdown, but actually on the battle spot or the battle stadium, whatever it's called this generation. But today we're going to be talking about Dracovish, and I know a lot of you guys are new to the channel because you're trying to get into competitive, so if you are new to the channel, go ahead, leave a like, and subscribe because I'm going to be putting out daily competitive content from this day forward. Uh, but yeah, so Dracovish, uh, I announced that this video was coming out earlier, and a lot of you guys said, all right, there are like two sets. There's Choice Band and there's Choice Scarf, but trust me, guys, I have a set that you guys are going to love. We'll get into it right after the Choice Band Choice Scarf sets. <laughs> all right, so the first set we have right here is the Choice Band set. Now, I guess I should go over what makes Dracovish so insane. Dracovish literally has a move. It's a stab water type move, 85 base power that doubles if you go before the opponent. So Choice Scarf already looking like, a, like an amazing option, but if you can manage to outspeed your opponent with the Choice Band set, you're gonna be doing insane damage. This Pokemon thrives in the rain. It's absolutely ridiculous. Along with that, it's got, or I guess I should go over the stats real quick. 90 HP, 90 attack, 100 defense, 70 special attack, 80 special defense, and 75 speed. This thing also has the ability Strong Jaw, which will boost biting moves like Vicious Rend. And it is a water dragon type, so that means it has two weaknesses. It is weak to dragon and fairy. So defensively, this thing's a monster. It's able to times four resist water moves. It's able to times four resist fire moves. It's just so good. But... Of course, it's lacking in that speed, so how are we going to outspeed and get out and get off uh, that huge damage with Ficious Rend? Well, running max speed on a Choice Band set is probably ideal, uh, and that 252 attack with the Adamant Nature is going to be ensuring you get as much damage off as possible, so I guess your best bet would be to run some kind of Tailwind support, if not Icy Wind or Electro Web. So good partners for this Pokemon would be something along the lines of Corviknight, Braviary, Mandibuzz, and uh, if you want to go with Electroweb, there's no going wrong with the Rotom forms. You can also burn things that would do major damage to it, like Grim Snarl's Play Rough. So that's pretty cool. But moving forward, we have the other obvious set. Here we have the Choice Scarf set. It's essentially the same thing. I guess I should go over the moves too. Let me go back to that previous set. The moves, Ficious Rend, Crunch, Dragon Rush, Iron Head. Now the reason we're running Ficious Rend is pretty obvious. Again, it doubles in base power if you manage to go first. That is 170 base power if you go first. Along with that, the Stab modifier will boost that even more by 50%. Crunch is great for hitting Psychic types uh, as well as Ghost types. Dragon Rush over Outrage because we're playing doubles and it's important for you to be able to target your opponent. While Dragon Rush only has 75 accuracy, it's better than not being able to choose who you're going to hit because that could really put you in some pretty pretty insane scenarios where you honestly would have won had you been able to choose. And Iron Head is great for hitting fairies. With that choice band, we're going to be able to Oko a lot of things. And yeah, this thing is an absolute monster. The next set is essentially the same, except there's one difference. Uh, instead of running... I forgot what move we dropped. Instead of running a Dragon Stab, I decided to run Rock Slide, uh, because Iron Head is great for just you know, hitting fairy types, you can get the flinch, but Rock Slide being able to hit both opponents for huge damage and be able to flinch them, 30% chance is really, really good, especially since you're already going fast. Speaking of fast, that Choice Scarf will allow us to get Ficious Rends off pretty reliably before our opponent's able to move. So there really isn't much to it with these two sets, but the set that I've been saving for last, the set that I have not shared yet, this is the Assault Vest set. And believe me when I say that, I think this might be one of the best sets I've come up with so far. So. It's pretty obvious um, we're going to be going for Ficious Rends 90% of the time. Adamant Nature, Strong Jaw, uh, Ficious Rend, Crunch, Dragon Rush, Iron Head, the exact same moveset as the Choice Band set. However, we're going to be running 92 HP, 252 Attack, 4 Defense, 68 Special Defense, and 92 Speed with the Assault Vest. And what this thing's able to do is with that 92 Speed, we're able to outrun the fastest Pokemon in the format that's relevant, uh, being... Dragapult. We outspeed Jolly Dragapult if we have a Tailwind on our side or if we're plus two in speed due to something along the lines of Max Airstream. Um, we also are able to take Fairy type moves. And just so you know what Fairy moves we eat with this set, we're able to take Choice Spec Sylveon's Hyper Voice. If it's hitting our uh, if it's hitting our partner as well, we're able to take that very comfortably. We always live the hit, and we're always going to outspeed that in the first place in Oko with Vicious Rend. But in case you don't 
have that luxury in case you're at minus one or minus two, you'll be able to live the hit and go for that attack twice. Uh, the physical bulk is completely dumped, but that 92 HP and the 68 special defense, I believe, are the most efficient ways to use uh, your bulk EVs, especially with that assault vest boosting your special defense. It'll help you live things pretty, pretty comfortably. Now, something that I want to go over at this Pokemon that I haven't gone over, which I really should have with the choice sets, is that if you decide to go with a choice set, this Pokemon is able to lock itself into a move, and if you're not comfortable with the move you chose, if you end up you know, in a scenario where you're like, oh crap, I locked myself into a dragon type move and there's a fairy type in the field, or oh no, I went for Ficious Rend and a Gastrodon just hit the field. Well, you're now able to Dynamax and go for the uh, max <laughs> the max version of whatever move you're going to go for. So you can go for uh, Max Geyser, which you're able to set up the rain for you and make Ficious Rend even more powerful uh, when that when the max is worn off. Or if you, you know, if you lock yourself into Ficious Ren and there's a Gastron on the field, uh, Max Wormwind will be doing really great damage to that thing considering your high attack stat and the fact that it's uh, going to be boosted by the max effect. So that's really cool. This Pokemon has insane potential. Lots of people are thinking that it's the best Pokemon in the format at the moment. Uh, I don't agree with that. I think that there are a lot of pretty obvious counters to this. Um, things that come to mind, Choice Scarf. Gardevoir is really common at the moment and it really shuts this thing down. Uh, Rotom Wash and Rotom Cut are able to burn this thing. While they aren't always going to be able to burn it, uh, they'll be able to take things like a plus, not a plus one, but uh, a base power doubled Ficious Rend comfortably, as long as it's not in the rain. Um, and also Choice Scarf Rotom isn't all that uncommon either. You will be able to outspeed this thing with a Choice Scarf Rotom and go for that Will-O-Wisp, burning it permanently. Uh, as for other things that countered this Pokemon pretty hard, Gastrodon and Jellicent are able to take absolutely no damage from it. Uh, you're able to just eat the hit, and in fact, Gastrodon is able to benefit from eating a Water-type move from this Pokemon. Uh, same with same with Jellicent, I guess. Water Absorb will allow it to regain HP, but Gastrodon, even more, will be able to uh, raise its special attack stat, which is absolutely insane. But as for partners, once again, Tailwind Setters, Fake Out Pokemon... Uh, I think Grimmsnarl would be amazing as a partner for it because Grimmsnarl will be able to set up screens allowing it to, to take hits even better. And Grimmsnarl is able to spread Thunder Wave uh, to slow down each of your opponents, making this Pokemon even faster in comparison to them, allowing you to get off insane damage with Vicious Rend. But I think that's all I have to say with this Pokemon as of right now. Uh, if you guys have any comments on my sets, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys think that this Pokemon is the best in the format. I want to know that too. Lots of people are saying that it's really busted, but I don't think it's all that bad. Um, but yeah, with that, I'm going to call guys. Make sure that you check out all the links in the description. There is my Twitter, my Discord, my Twitch. And make sure you join that Discord because that Discord is where I'm trying to get as many people as I can. So that way we can trade, spread around some hidden abilities, spread around some Pokemon that people are having some issues getting. And just, you know, get some best of threes, practice VGC, talk VGC, team build together. We're doing that all in the Discord. So sure to join that but yeah with that i'm gonna call it guys everyone have a nice night and i'll see you guys in the next video bye